Hare Krishna, Jai Jagannath. So today I am going to talk about a very nice story. Name of the story is Fruit of Karma. This is the story of Sadan, the butcher, who used to sell animal meat. He didn't kill the animals, but he used to sell the meat of the dead animals. So what happened? Once upon a time, a saint, a Mahatma, a sadhu, was passing by his shop and saw that the weights that the butcher was using for weighing the meat was a saligram sila. So he went inside the shop and asked the sadhan, the butcher, to give him the weight. Sadhan gave the weight to the sadhu. The saint came. The saint came home, uh, washed the sali, saligram sila thoroughly and offered some bhoga prasadam and worship the saligram sila nicely and when the mahatma when the sadhu when the saint was sleeping at night the god appeared in his dream god asked the saint why have you brought me from there sadhan is my devotee when he keeps me here and there i feel good i feel happy kindly please please take me back the mahatma got up in the morning and returned the saligram sila to the Shadan, to butcher and told him that God has appeared in his dream. God wanted to come back to him. The saint further told him that the saligram sila which he was using for weighing the meat is not an ordinary sila, it is a saligram sila. Shadan left the job immediately after listening this from the saint and he immediately left for Jagannath Puri, Odisha. While walking, the whole day passed by and it was night. He knocked on the door of a house and a lady opened the door. He said to the lady, Mother, I'm going to Jagannath Puri. It is night now. Can I stay at your house tonight? The lady allowed him to stay at her house that night. Sadhan was a very good uh, looking, very good looking and very handsome guy. So the lady become uh, attracted towards him and uh, she started talking very intimately with Sadhan. Sadhan didn't feel comfortable. He said, Mother, please do not talk to me like this. Then the lady, what she did, she cut up the neck of her sleeping husband and showed to the Sadhan the head, cutted head. And uh, the lady said, she, you no need to afraid of my husband. See, I have killed my husband. You no need to worry at all. So you can embrace me. Seeing the severed head, Sadhana said, Oh my lady, what have you done? When the lady felt that Sadhana wouldn't listen to her, Sadhana is not interested uh, to her, then she started doing a drama. She shouted loudly, make some noise. So um, the nearby people gathered there and as she blamed Shadan and she said that uh, Shadan killed my husband and he is trying to molest me. So all the people took Shadan to the judge. When the Shadan was taken to the judge, the, the, the judge saw Shadan was very naive person, very um, simple person. So the judge ordered to cut off both of his hands. Although both of the hands of Shadan were cut off, he still continued to go towards the direction of Jagannath Puri. One night, Lord Jagannathji came in his dream. I mean, one night Lord Jagannathji came uh, in the dream of the head priest of temple. The head priest of temple is known as Bodapanda. So Bodapanda saw one dream that night. Lord Jagannath told him, my devotee is coming to meet me. So he doesn't have both the hands. Uh, his hands were cut off. Please arrange a palanquin and grow and bring him. As Sadhan was coming towards the temple on the way, he saw some priests, some priests carrying the palanquin and coming towards him. They asked if he was Sadhan the butcher. And they also mentioned that Lord Jagannathji had sent the palanquin for him. Sadhan asked how did they know about him. Then the Bharapanda, the priests, told him that God had sent the palanquin and asked him to sit in it and come to the temple. Sadhana went with the priest and bowed to Lord Jagannath. Sadhana asked to God to ask to Lord Jagannath, 
why he was punished so severely why both of his hands were cut off then lord jagannath ji told him the story of his previous life in your previous life you were a brahmana once a butcher was running after a cow to kill you were going through the same path the cow ran past you and as the butcher chasing the cow came near you the butcher asked which side the cow had gone to you did not speak but you pointed your hand to the direction the cow had gone the butcher then managed to grab the cow and he killed the cow in this birth you are suffering the fruits of the same sin the lady because of you the lady is because of whom your hands are cut off was the same cow and the man because of whose death your hands are cut the butcher in your previous birth was the husband of that lady after saying this lord jagannath ji gave back both the hands to shadan and uh, uh, yes shadan got uh, his both the hands so what do we learn from this story so whatever sinful activities we are doing we have to suffer for that sin in this life or in our next life we cannot escape from our karma only by devotional service the fruits of sinful deeds can be avoided point number 3 if you have to even lie to stop any sin from happening then it is considered a religious act so this is a very important study kindly uh, pay attention to it be careful of your karma because karma is going to pay either in this life or next life hari krishna